Hey everyone, this is just a quick update to cover some dialogue options that I skipped while I was recording the Let's Play. A few things that people will say while you're looking for Sloth Island that you won't get them to say once you've been there. Hi, Chief. I need to call upon your wisdom again. Sure thing! How may I help you? Do you know about the temple on Sloth Island? Of course I do. The sacred temple was built by Prince Almaxaquatl to honor our gods. We are forbidden to enter it, and I suggest you do the same. Why are you forbidden to enter the temple? Because it is a dangerous place for the unwary. It is full of secret passageways and unknown dangers. Those who enter never leave. What's inside the temple? The tomb of Prince Almaxaquatl lies within, as well as treasures left behind by the gods. But heed this warning. Nothing inside must ever be touched, ever. Who's Prince Almaxaquatl? Is he a relative? No, not at all. He was the leader of an Incan kingdom who vanished shortly after building the temple. What happened to them? Legend says that a curse struck them and no more male children were born. Some say that the all-female kingdom survives to this very day, hidden in the jungles of the Amazon. Thanks for the information. You're welcome. Have you ever heard of a crystal skull? Who told you about the sacred crystal skull? Um, some people that I know. Is there a problem with that? No one is supposed to know about the sacred skull. Only a select few know of its existence. Well, these people want me to find it for them. You must not. The skull is hidden deep inside the temple. It was placed there by our gods to protect the Valley of the Mist. No one must ever remove it. Ever. Oh, okay. I'll forget I even heard about it. No, I won't. Aren't you guys too tall to be called pygmies? Just between you and me, Joe, we're not really pygmies. The pygmies are from Africa. We're Indians. Bob thought a pygmy village would be a good way to attract tourists. And is it? Well, it's more popular than a mighty nipper jungle water slide. Why is that? Because the splash pool is infested with piranhas. Nice talking to you, Chief. Nice talking to you, too. Goodbye. Wait, if they're Indians and not pygmies, why can I talk to them using a pygmy to English dictionary? Hello, it's me again. I just wanted to say thanks for the lotion. That's okay, Joe. That's what I'm here for. I've got a problem that I'd like to talk about. Okay. What's bothering you? I've crashed my plane and I don't have insurance. Hey, I'm a witch doctor, not a mechanic. I mean, that was a Star Trek joke, not a Star Wars joke. Nice talking to you. Goodbye, Joe. Hi, Naomi. I'm here to bother you again. You're never a bother, Joe. How may I help you? Uh, we'll be covering all that later. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Even though you didn't say anything. Bad news, Bob. Float is run by a mad scientist called Doc Einstein, who's captured the Amazons. He won't let them go until I found him some crystal skull. That no good swamp hound. The only crystal skull I've heard of is the one hidden in the temple on Sloth Island. At least that's what jungle legend says. Where can I find Sloth Island in the temple? You should be able to see a jetty from the pinnacle. From there, you can get the ferryman to take you across to Sloth Island. Is the ferryman always at the jetty? Not always. He likes to go fishing, so he's often out dangling his rod. He should be there now, though. 
Why is the island called Sloth Island? Jeez, ain't it obvious? It was named after the famous explorer, Sir Edward Sloth. He discovered the island in 1844. Is there anything I should know about the temple? Yeah, take out some insurance before you leave. Thanks for the advice. I feel so much more confident now. Don't worry, Joe. You'll be all right. Thanks for the information. That's quite all right. What exactly is this crystal skull thing? I don't rightly know, but local legend refers to the crystal skull as a source of great power. The chief's our local expert. Try asking him. I gotta go. Good luck, Joe. Jim, am I glad to see you again. Why? Uh, what's the matter, boy? I think I'm in big trouble. What's the problem, Joe? You can tell me. I did a two-year stint as a summer camp counselor. I have to find a crystal skull, or they'll hurt innocent people. A crystal skull? Is that all they want? Mary Lou has a fine collection of crystal animal figurines. You're more than welcome to take one of those. Thanks, but no thanks. They wanted a particular skull. I've met a real princess. I'm happy for you, Joe. I knew a nice young man like you wouldn't stay single for too long. If you require the services of a celebrant, you know where to find me. Uh, Jim, it's not like that. I meant she's a real princess. That's even better. I've never performed a royal wedding before. No, Jim. You've got it all wrong. I hardly even know her. Well, don't rush into things. It's best to take it slowly. I can offer you some pre-marriage guidance if you want. Right, uh, I'll take a rain check on that. I gotta go now. Bye, Joe. Hello again, Mary Lou. You're looking particularly ravishing. Oh, Joe, you're making me blush. Are you wearing a new fragrance? Why, yes, I am. It's called Erg de Toilet. How do I smell? You smell with your nose. <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> you crack me up! <laughs> Are you guys ever gonna leave this jungle? We plan on staying here for a few more months. If we don't get any more converts, then we'll pack up and go home. You'll have to pay us a visit. Yeah, sure. If I live long enough. Don't worry, Joe. I'm sure you'll be okay. I'm about to enter a deadly temple. Wish me luck. Good luck, Joe. And be careful. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you, too. All right, the next people we're going to talk to take a little bit of explanation. Between the time that you rescue Princess Azura and the time that you get to Sloth Island, Bud and Skip have relocated to a different part of the jungle. There was also a conversation that I skipped before where Bud tells you that he and Skip are looking for the Amazons. It didn't seem as important once Bud had told me about his rash, which was the thing that I really needed to know. Of course, I'll be covering all that in a later video. Hello again, Bud. Hello again, Joe. Any luck in finding the Amazons? Not yet. What will you do when you find them? Hmm... Well... We haven't quite worked out a plan yet. We'll probably make a documentary or something. I could write a paper on them. I was captured by Amazon women. You were? How did they capture you? They used the old hidden rope trap trick. Of course. 
The hidden rope trap trick. The oldest trick in the book. They loved that one. Can you remember where they caught you? It was near a stone wall of some sort. I don't quite remember where. Hmm. It sounds like the old abandoned stone wall at the end of the jungle. Skip and I might have a look around there later today. Thanks for the information. Did I tell you that I was captured by Amazons? Yes, you've already told me. Will you stop rubbing it in? Uh, how's your rash? It's all cleared up now, thanks to you. Do you want to know what was in the lotion? Uh, no thanks. I'm a great believer in that old saying, ignorance is bliss. Nice talking to you. See ya, Joe. Hello again. Howdy, Joe. Absolutely nothing special. How are things in this part of the jungle? Yeah, pretty quiet. Not much has happened since we last spoke. I gotta go. See you later. I was hoping he'd say something different for being in this part of the jungle, but he doesn't. One last person. A group of evildoers called Floda have set me an impossible task. They're holding innocent people hostage until I find a skull hidden in some temple. I guess that means you haven't had a chance to get help yet. How am I gonna find that skull? They said it was made of crystal. I suppose you'll just have to look everywhere inside the temple. Gee, it sounds kind of fun. Sort of like looking for Easter eggs. Sparky, that is truly sad. The temple is probably full of death traps. Do you have any good advice for me, Sparky? Well, if you're going to enter some ancient temple, make sure that you wear a clean pair of underwear. What sort of advice is that? That's what my mama told me before I had my first driving test. Uh, yeah, that's very interesting, Sparky. Well, I'm off to find the crystal skull. Good luck, Joe. And before moving on, just to show you that you can return to the plane once you've left. Of course, the only thing you could possibly have missed was the coupon from the comic book page. But the plane is still 36D BRA. I think Leavin has pointed that out in what little there was of his Let's Play. It is a pretty cleverly hidden joke. What a ride! Well, that's it. See you for the trip to Sloth Island in the next real video.